Before we make major changes to a system, it's always good to understand what the dependencies are. The dependency diagram in Visual Studio 2010 Ultimate Edition helps us do exactly that. We'll start with a dependency diagram of our system as a whole from an assembly perspective. Once we have an assembly view, we can choose one that we're interested in, like this blue yonder.web.dll, and we can drill further. So we can navigate from the assembly to a namespace perspective, and then finally down to the class level. Notice that the dependency diagram will automatically generate any intermediate diagrams that it might need. Now that we've drilled in from an assembly to a namespace, finally to a class level, we can look at the individual classes being referenced as well as the methods that it's making calls to. We can drill down even further by choosing a method that we're interested in knowing more about. So we can look at our validate change password method and notice that it has external dependencies. We'll see that as we trace the arrow all the way down to the bottom here. Now if we look at our external dependencies, we can see you know, there's a number of them. What we want to make sure is that this method is not taking on a dependency that's going to cause us a problem in the future. Now if we trace those dependency lines all the way down, we can see it's the MVC and MS Core Lib. Those are pretty typical any you know method or class in our application is probably going to depend on that. So uh, we can verify that these aren't unique dependencies that will cause a maintenance problem later on. And we can do that by just simply using the dependency diagram to drill all the way uh, down from the assembly all the way down to the method level. Thank you.